Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I am going to be doing a really brief video on how to make tabs for an existing um, journal that doesn't have tabs that you want to create tabs for internally. Okay, um, this just this ability just came with the Good Notes. Um, six. I got the Good Notes uh, six, the one-time payment rather than the prescription or subscription, I should say. <laughs> um, however, it doesn't really matter. It works with both. Now, if it's not working, it's because you probably need to go back and check your Good, Good Notes application right out of the store and make sure that you have the all the updates. That's what my problem was. So I had to update it and then turn around and reboot my iPad and then it was working. Now I will say the difference between the, and I don't have the um, GoodNotes for any other devices, only my iPad, right? So, but I do know with the GoodNotes 6 update, as long as you're doing the subscription, it will work with the various devices. So if you wanna move it from like um, a tablet, um, like an Android tablet to like an iPhone, I believe that it's workable that way. But it's not if you buy just the one time, you have to be subscribing to them and that's like $9.99 a, a month, or I'm sorry, $9.99 a year which is really very reasonable for everything that you get in this app and they're constantly updating it. So <clears throat> I love it. So anyways, this is the free version that I offer on my Kofi shop, which is amethystascension.com. I have several different digital journals that I sell there, but this is one that you can try out on your um you know, whatever device that you use in order to see whether or not it's going to work for you. However, I just made this a really pared down version because I'm not trying to give away all of my hard work for free. So, but I want to show you now with this new expansion, I was just asked in a comment whether or not this is something that you can do. So, you can actually. So, let's say I wanted to um, let me see. Let me add a page. Let's do it before. So it makes a blank page. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on edit because you need to make sure that you're in edit mode. You can do that with this little pen scribbly mark. When it's highlighted, you'll see all of your, um, your different modification tools, editing tools. If you are not, that's when it's in link mode, okay? So we're gonna put it in editing and we're going to make a tab. So you can take a shape if you want and let's say you wanna do it in black. And it creates it for you, right? Or, and if you want it darker than that, then you just do it a couple of times. However, the way that I want to do it, so let me backspace that. So the way that I want to do it is by creating a text box. So I'm going to do a text box. And let's say I'm going to do story time episode one or story time one or episode one, because let me show you, this free one is what I have used to show people my story times. All my story times are in here, but there's no links because it's the free version, right? However, let's see if we can fix that. So I'm gonna hit text, make a text box. This little thing right here with a background color and a white pen in there, that's what creates the backgrounds. So I'm going to make a black background, then this one right next to it creates a um, font color. So I'm going to go white, 
okay? And I'm going to put it in the center. Now I'm gonna put I'm not used to using, okay, show keyboard. Okay, so we're gonna do story time. You know what, I wanna do all caps. There we go, you just hit it twice and it keeps it, I think. Yeah. It's technically two words, but I like it as one word. So we're going to do one. So now I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to make it about that big. Now I'm going to... Okay. So... I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna highlight the whole thing. And when you do that, then you've got a link. So this document, give it a second for it to pull it up. Where is it? Free vintage. Select, okay, document, link to this document, this document, and we'll go to this one. This is the first story time. Okay, now we just created a link. Now I'm gonna put it on the lasso tool, lasso it, and I'm gonna resize it. I think I like it like that better. No, I like it like this better. Now I'm going to take it into um, link mode. I'm going to click on it, and it takes me to the first story time. So I'm going to show you one more time by doing the next story. Okay? And if I remember right, yes, the pen takes you to the first page again. So... Okay, so let's do it again one more time to show you. So I'm going to create a text box. It's already highlighted. I'm going to do the background. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Sometimes when you use the, um, the pen tool, even if you're touching other stuff, it puts a mark on the text box. So sometimes use your fingers. And then I'm going to go to the color. I'm gonna make it white, the text of the color, or the <laughs> the font color. <laughs> and I'm going to change it to center it again. And this time I'm gonna go story time two. I'm gonna make it smaller. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that the whole thing is highlighted. And then I'm going to go link. It's already this document, this document. Click on the page that you want. So it would be the second story time, which is that one. And it's done. So now I'm going to hit on my lasso tool. I'm going to lasso it. Hit it again. Hit resize. Now I'm gonna get out of edit mode. Now, when you're out of edit mode, it means it's link mode. So I'm gonna hit the second one and it goes to my second story time. So because this whole book is mainly story time, I could also go like this. Instead of having this whole thing, whoops, I forgot. Instead of having the whole thing be like that, Um, edit content. I can backspace 
and just put the number one. Make it smaller. You see what I mean? Edit content, backspace all of it, and just hit two. We'll make it smaller. That way, well, it's a little bit bigger. That way, oops. Come on, stop. Cancel. And I can actually go in the text, edit content, make it just a little bit bigger to match the other one. So now when I go into link mode again, that goes to the second one. Use this to go back to the main one. I made this my front page just went empty, but if you are just getting a new copy, and remember with these particular journals, you can make several copies, they're copyable. You just name it something different and you have several different journals with the same thing. So you need more pages, you simply Hit the little, this little right here with, looks like a page with a plus in it. And either do before, after, or last page. I'm gonna do after and hit the template design. So now is this still gonna work? Let's see, yes. Why is it not working? Did I? Oh, I must have removed it. This one still works. I must have somehow removed. So let's go back. Oops. Let's go edit text. Add link. Document this document. Next page. And we're going to go to the story time. Now let's take that off of the edit. Click it. There's the first story time. Go back to the main page. Hit the second one. There's the second story time. And you just keep on. That's how you added it. Add it. So if you wanted to put a January, February, March, that's how you do it. That's how you make tabs. And link it to an item that's that you're already working with. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, not so brief video and I am sending you love always.